All right, here goes nothing. This is a Ford F-150. As you can tell, it has been used on a farm. It's covered in mud. It's trashed on the inside. It's got bullets. It's got car seats. I mean, what else could go wrong? Let's just go ahead and start tearing this thing apart to find out what other stuff we find on the inside, get all of it cleaned up, and then at the end, you guys will see how nice this truck looks once it's had a full complete detail and a full clean. So if you haven't subscribed already and you're new, hit that subscribe button down below and let's go ahead and knock this sucker out. Now, I'm going a little bit more in depth with showing you guys how to remove seats and it's all different between each car, but these are leather seats inside this truck and they are beautiful when they are clean, which is why I am gonna do a little bit something crazy. And we're gonna go at the leather bundle from Mint Shine that you can pick up at foxclean.com. I'm gonna do a huge sale. Typically, they're $31.99 for a bundle of conditioner and cleaner. Let's go ahead and drop that down to $23.99 and the link in the description box will tell you to use the code USA because why not? United States of America, baby. Um, use that code at checkout and you will get that, that price. It's a 25% discount off the bundle, which is already Beep. discounted if you bought them individually. So go ahead and pick it up if you have leather seats or if you wanna use it on your furniture in your house that's leather. It doesn't matter or purses for that matter. The stuff kicks ass, it works amazing, smells awesome. I know you guys will love it. Check out the reviews on foxclean.com and you'll be sold immediately. Check it out after this video. Now, while we're vacuuming up all this dirt and grime, I wanna officially announce that channel memberships are now available for the Stoffer Garage community. You guys have been asking for this for a really long time, and plus, I've been wanting to do it, so I finally got it all set up, and you guys will not be disappointed. I've pretty much tried to pack in as much at each price level that blows any other channel membership that I've seen out of the water. You have so much more stuff available to you to make it pretty much you can't pass it up. The deal is priceless. And if you're looking to grow your YouTube channel or grow your business, there's a package for you. Or if you just wanna be part of the chat room for private members, contact and talk with me specifically in a group setting or one-on-one, -on -one. all of those opportunities are there. Make sure you guys check out the channel memberships, join, become part of the Stoffer Garage crew. You'll get private content, ask questions, anything like that, I'll be able to connect with you and create specific content on specific topics that you're asking. So check out that after this video, join, become a member, get those special little icons that make you, you know, amazing and part of this community. 
and that way everyone else will know that you're a loyal Stoffer Garage member. So check it out after this video. I think this, this shot right here kind of sums up why I always tell you guys that rubber floor mats are a necessity no matter what car you own. Um, you can see how much of a difference in color there is where the rubber floor mat covered the carpet and where the carpet was exposed to the dirt and elements. Um, the color change is crazy, but vacuuming usually takes care of a lot of that problem and then extraction is the final process to restore that carpet to new. Um, and I will say that uh, Ford carpet, you guys win. Like, I don't know if there's any Ford engineers that watch this video, and if you guys even consider this when you design your trucks, but the carpet is insane. It's so much easier to clean. It's easy to vacuum, get all the dog hair out, all the hay, anything that gets bedded in it, Ford carpet kicks butt.
Now for all you extraction junkies, this is a beautiful clip of extracting this dirty floor mat. This is the driver's side floor mat that was covered in mud. Um, the idea of pressure washing it came to mind and it is something that you could do, especially if you have rubber floor mats, that's the most makes sense there. Um, but with carpeted floor mats, as long as it's not like completely gummed up with stuff and it's mostly just surface mud, which is the case for this one, extraction is like king. I, I think that one, it makes it easier for me to tell how clean it is, um, but two, it's more fun and more enjoyable. So agitate the surface, get out your extractor, extract all that juicy dirt out of it, which you guys can see here, how yummy it looks um, and how clean they look afterwards. There's you know clean water coming out by the end of this extraction. So pressure washing is sometimes not needed and it only makes the dry time a lot longer. Now we're jumping right into doing the extraction of the carpets on the inside of the truck. And the main reason is because this is a one day turnaround detail for the owner, but also it gives me more time to let the truck dry out on the inside with box fans blowing air throughout the cab as I work on the rest of the components of the car. So the dashboard and the door panels and the side panels, all of that will have some dirt and there's very minuscule amount that will fall onto those carpets after they've been completely cleaned. Um, but the only thing you have to do at that point is once you've reassembled the vehicle, do a little bit of a touch up vacuum to make sure you get any of those crumbs out of the way. But the benefit is obviously you get to have the truck have more dry time after you've had all those carpets clean, which is crucial to make sure there's no smell afterwards, mold, and everything looks great when you return it back to the owner.
Not sure why, but this extraction pour only reminds me of Mocha Frappuccino from um, Zoolander, the movie. If you haven't seen that movie or if I'm too old and you're too young and you've never seen it, definitely check it out. It's a, it's a funny movie. Now, a lot of you guys always ask, what do I listen to when I do my details? A lot of times it's podcast. Um, today, I was definitely uh, taking advantage of the whole idea of this truck being a hunter's theme and kind of a farmer's truck. So I was listening to a lot of country. Um, big fan of Luke Combs and, you know, just jamming out while you detail or listening to anything in general just helps with the whole process, keeping you motivated, keeping you going, and just kind of trucking through, getting the thing done completely. Now one thing I was thinking of when I was detailing the inside here is the compressed air that I use to blow out the dirt and any of the remaining liquid that kind of gets in between those buttons and seams. Um, if you don't have an air compressor, a good option is to go to like an office supply store or order off of Amazon, can compress air that you would use for like your keyboard uh, on your computer. That's a great option just to kind of have something on hand if you do not own a air compressor.
Now, one thing about these leather seats that was interesting, especially the driver's side, is the owner of this one does a lot of painting as well, and there is paint inside of all those perforations. I tried blowing some out, tried getting it out with you know a tiny pick um, that I've used before on those perforations and seats in the past, and I wasn't able to get it all removed, which was a bummer, and it's something that kind of bothered me. Um, you know, you could use stronger, you know, paint thinner or your acetone and things like that. But then you run the risk of that dye on the leather bleeding and or being removed all together. So it's it's one of those things that sometimes you have to um, debate what kind of path you take or if you just leave it and then tell the owner about it. Sometimes you just can't get some of this stuff out. And it's just it's one of the hardest things of the detailer is seeing something that you can't remove and just having to leave it. But I will say that the seats did turn out nicer than they were before, which is the whole point here, is to clean them up, make them look good, apply that leather cleaner and conditioner, and make them look like new again. Now, for a lot of you, I'm sure you've been waiting for this portion of the detail, which is the exterior and getting all this mud rinsed off, which is extremely satisfying, I will agree. And it's been a while since I've had a truck that came in that was this muddy. Some directions to get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind, on my mind, on my mind. Yeah, I'm going out of my mind, out of my mind, out of my mind. Yeah. For you, my love. You drive me crazy. Tell me what to do. I'm on my knees, yeah, I am begging you, begging you I'll break the rules if it will get me to, get me to, yeah
get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you, for you, my love. You drive me crazy, tell me what to do, what to do. I'm on my knees, yeah, I am begging you. Now, per request, we are going to be using blue foam on this vehicle in particular. I missed the first shot for some reason. My record didn't work or I did not press it and I thought I did. But I did get this other side of the vehicle applying that snow foam to allow it to seep into any remaining dirt on the surface and allowing that foam to be rinsed off after. So that way we don't have any dirt that kind of gets, you know, scratching the paint on there when we go to the wash mitt phase next. For the wheels and tires, I'm just using my acid to spray onto the rim itself, which will help rinse off all of that brake dust. And then I have a tire cleaner that I spray onto the tire surface itself. Scrub it in really well with a hard bristle brush on the tire face to remove any of that dirt and grime. And then I have a softer bristle brush just to brush the spokes. Make sure that acid has been completely covering every single portion of it. And then when these things get rinsed off in the after shots, you guys will see how well they turned out.
Now, the one thing I need you guys to do is this video you see on screen, you need to click on it right now. Head on over, watch this next video. I promise you, you're gonna learn a ton more about detailing or just enjoy the content. So click on it now and I'll meet you guys over there in five seconds.